Okay, this is another in a series of Rhino tutorials, and this one is box modeling. At least that's what I call it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a box, and I'm going to make it fairly large and kind of thin like that, flat. And if you try to rebuild this surface like you would a sphere or something, it tells you that you can't select that. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to trick it, and we're going to select it, type explode and then rebuild and it wants to know how many points we want I'm gonna go ahead and do OK and so you'll see that we have a lot more detail here and if I was to go to control points and turn my control points on you'll see that we have a lot here that we can play with now the cool thing here and this is you know maybe not the best way to do a car or something but um, what we can do is we can select something like the bottom parts of the the box and drag it outward and then we can select you know the top parts here and pull it out this way and then maybe up and if I was to pull out you can see that we've got a an already a different shape here alright so what I might do is I might pull out here to the top view and pull these out and these four okay and I really could get detailed if you just pulled just the tops back like that now um, obviously we've got a lot of control here and I might want to pull the front out maybe the front too and if I was to pull just those few out okay so very quickly I have this kind of a shape okay so if I wanted to take these here I can pull those up a little bit but perhaps I don't want all of those so you can go along and you know do some editing and stuff but the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the sides right here and pull outward okay and I'll do the four on this side also and pull outward about what I consider the same distance now if I was to pull over here I can see a, a get a better idea of what it is I'm working with and I maybe just want to work with the, the middle it's not going to be perfect and I can drag it hmm I'm going to have to pick a different set of those let's just do the front two alright I think part of my problem is I have ortho on if I take ortho and turn it off it's gonna let me have a little bit more control here so for example I'm gonna select these bottom ones here and pull up and I'll select these bottoms and pull up select these pull down okay alright so I have this very different shape now alright so I've kinda got this instant um, spaceship kinda thing going on the bottoms are really kind of a flat thing kinda looks like a Star Trek shield um, but I'm gonna go ahead and play with this just a tiny bit more and maybe select these down here at the very bottom and that's not probably quite what I wanted maybe just those kinda pull those out a little bit I might want to pull the nose in a little bit okay and there's there's no right or wrong here experiment because you're gonna get some cool stuff and sometimes you'll do something and you think oh my gosh that was the stupidest thing I ever did and then sometimes you'll get something really really cool alright so I've got this weird shape now alright it's not perfect I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a well I can't do a save but because I'm using the evaluation copy but what you could do is take this now into a program like Bryce 
you know, save your model. You could also render it here. You know, go in and edit all, all your pieces and um, select everything and turn your control points back off so that you can see it a little better. All right. And just kind of get creative and, and start going in. You can cut pieces off or, you know, warp the shapes. For example, if I wanted to, wow, I really got that thing stretched out. No wonder it looks so freaking weird. Um, anyway, so you have to be careful of where you pull your points from. All right, so hopefully that will give you an idea, give you some inspiration to try something new. Uh, thank you very much.